Hey everyone, what's going on? It's me, Nima. I wanted to make this video today to announce I'm planning on doing a real estate uh, video series going forward where folks can reach out to me with questions that they have uh, or things that they've seen in the market and want to pick my brain about, kind of like an AMA. Uh, it's something that I've been wanting to do and today is the day that I'm going to start doing that. I'm super grateful that my friends reach out to me on social media and uh, the mats like on the martial arts academies when we're warming up and they ask me, hey, how's the market? What's going on? You know, what are condos selling for? What are single family homes selling for in, these, in this area and that area? And I always thought to myself, you know what? Like, I wonder if other people have a question like this and I can help them and answer that. So this is something that I'm gonna start doing. And as you can see, the first video, I'm making it in my car. Um, so I'm super grateful to uh, be you know, in your presence and uh, I want to start doing these videos, okay? So let's see, uh, trends in the market. So far, a lot of folks have noticed, right? There's been a slight slow down in real estate sales, both with respect to like the quality of offers that, that home sellers are getting and the quantity of offers. Now, the best analogy that I've seen that totally encapsulates what's going on in the real estate market is if you think about a car going, let's say, 90 miles down the freeway with the speed limit being 65. They see a cop, you know, in the distance and they slow down to, let's say, 80 or 75 miles an hour. Well, you can definitely see that decrease in speed, right? But you're still going above the speed limit, but you can totally sense a difference there. Now, I use that analogy because we've gone from a super crazy market in real estate to still a hot market in real estate. Instead of 20 offers, we're seeing eight offers on a home, for example. So a lot of people have yeah, reached out to me with that question and I thought I would answer it that way. Uh, overall, we've still had an 18% housing appreciation year over year in this year in 2021. Now those are national averages in San Jose and California in general, it's been a lot more, maybe like close to 20% overall. So uh, the real estate market is definitely healthy. We've seen a huge appreciation. People are making a lot of equity in their homes. Um, and besides that, I just wanted to say thank you again for listening and reaching out to me with your questions. Feel free to comment uh, on this post or even send me a message with a question that you have. And I'll definitely highlight it the next time I do these videos. I wanna keep them consistent. Uh, and yeah, I'm super grateful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, remember, we've been in this business multi-generational. My dad started this business in 1988. I got my real estate license when I was a senior in high school and I came to work full time with him back in 2014. So from our family to yours, we're always here for you and I appreciate you guys. Thank you.